हेलो एवरीवन आई एम रजत शुक्ला एज यू नो एवरीवन इज सफरिंग फ्रॉम कोरोना वायरस स्प्रेड अ क्राइसिस सो विद सम लिमिटेड रिसोर्सेज आई एम मेकिंग दिस वीडियो एज वी ऑल आर वर्किंग फ्रॉम होम सो दिस इज माय फर्स्ट वीडियो फॉर चैप्टर वन क्लास ट्वेल्थ फिजिक्स कूलम्स लॉ एंड द टॉपिक इज चार्ज सो लेट्स डिस्कस डिस्कस अबाउट द चार्ज वेन एनी बॉडी or object shows efficiency or deficiency of electrons then that object is said to be a charged object means if any body donates or gains any electron or number of electrons then that body is said to be a charged body types of charge there are two types of charge first is positive charge when any object shows deficiency of electrons it means that object is positively charged object and similarly if any object shows efficiency of electrons it means it is negatively charged object let's move towards the si unit of charge si unit of charge is 1 coulomb 1 coulomb is actually equal to 1 ampere into 1 second one more important thing that we should learn or understand that is charge of one electron or elementary charge charge of one electron is equal to 1.6 into 10 raised to power minus 19 coulomb now we have some procedures which are related to charging of any body first one is electrification of body or charging by conduction it means whenever any object or any body is kept in contact proper physical contact with any other charged body <coughs> then that body gains some charge means there is a permanent transfer of electrons between those two bodies and one more important thing is only electrons are responsible for the charging of body due to electrification or conduction clear so next thing is electrostatic induction when a charged object induces charge in an uncharged conductor placed near it a basic difference that is the here the charged object and the uncharged conductor these two objects are not in physical contact with each other without touching the conductor listen carefully without touching the conductor in this case this is your charged object and this is the uncharged conductor but but when they are kept very close to each other due to the electrostatic pull the free electrons inside the conductor attracted towards the positive charge of the charged object so the end which is located near to the charged object becomes temporarily negatively charged and the other end becomes positively charged so this thing is also known as polarity of charges polarity of charges next thing next thing is quantization of charge the electric charge can not be divided indefinitely means the minimum amount of charge which can be present on any object can only be elementary charge that is small e means 1.6 into 10 raised to power minus 19 coulomb similarly we can say the charge on any object can only be integral multiple of elementary charge means q can be equal to plus minus e plus minus 2e plus minus 3e and so on means we can say q is equal to n e where n belongs to an integer this is because that the charge can only be 
produced due to the transfer of electrons and electron can only be transferred in whole numbers means one electron can be given or taken by any body similarly two three four and so on but we cannot transfer electrons in fractions that's why the net amount of charge and on any object can only be the integral multiple of elementary charge next thing is conservation of electric charge charge can neither be created nor be destroyed the total amount of charge in an isolated system remains constant means charge can only be transferred from one object to another but it cannot be created and not be nor be destroyed so this is all about the basic knowledge about of charge so let's wind up